greetings of the day welcome you all for this park activity organized by the ks pratibha college of commerce and computer studies under faculty enrichment program today i am going to deal with the secondary functions under commerce for non commerce let us let us discuss about the secondary functions of bank before that let us understand what is bank or recall the bank which we all are aware so as we all know in a modern days without bank we are unable to do any kind of transactions especially in the development of any country depends upon the banking system a bank is a financial institution which deals with the deposits and advances and other related services financial institutions means banks receive money from those who have who are gone to save and in the form of deposits and it lends to money those who are in need of it so banks are authorized institutions by the government for accepting deposits and paying interest clearing checks making loans these banks will act as a intermediary in a financial transactions and provide other financial services to its customers so banks are very important for any kind of transactions nowadays especially in the modern era we are finding that without bank we are not able to do any kind of transactions so bank plays a very important role so banks will perform different type of functions and they will create a relationship with the relationship with the customers so let us understand what type of relationship is created by the banker with the customers when we find the relationship between the banks and customers here we will find okay between the deposit and bank as i told here banks are helping those people who want to save money so in that case here we are finding the relationship between the bank and customer is debitor and creditor and one group of people who want to borrow money who are in need of money in that case they will approach the bank in that case also we will find there is a relationship between the bank and customer that is creditor and debitor these are the main functions of bank okay here banks are established for the purpose of accepting deposit and advancing loan so only these are known as primary functions of bank these are these are the mandatory for the bank they have to do these functions apart from this bank also perform some other functions and create a relationship with the customers in that we can find here banks will create a relationship with the banker by giving the instructions to the bank those are known as carrying out the standing instructions customers or a client of the bank will give some certain instructions to the bank behalf of customer bank will follow those instructions and that is in that case we will find the relationship between the bank and customer is principal and agent because here bank is acting as a agent for the customer so here we are finding the relationship between these two are principal and a, as a agent apart from this some of the other services also provided by the banker to their customers in that one of the very popular known services locker facility here we are finding the relationship between the bank and customer is lesser and lazy these two are the those functions which are performed by the bank to their customers which are not mandatory but as a additional service they are giving to their customers so only these are come under secondary functions of bank so today we are going to discuss about the secondary functions of bank 
in the modern times banks are providing different type of agency and utility functions which are also known as secondary functions these are the key driver of revenue in the form of commission and fees for the banks as we all know banks are profit making institutions they are working for the sake of profit so when they are accepting deposit and advancing loan means when they are doing the primary business they will make the profit but not only this they will get the profit by providing secondary functions also by charging the commissions by providing additional services they will collect the fees from the customers and this is a revenue generating services to the bank without investing anything they are getting profit from these type of services so secondary functions are performed for the convenience of the customers and are mostly in incidental to the main function of the bank these are supporting fun functions to the secondary to the primary functions so secondary functions are not obligatory as we have discussed earlier it means not required to perform only but primary functions functions are compulsion for the bank but secondary functions are incidental to the main function so many of the banks are performing these secondary functions okay let us see in detail about these secondary functions one by one so first we will analyze first category of secondary function that is agency function here the word itself says the meaning agency means agent here bank is act as a agent for their customer behalf of their customer some of the functions some of the works of the customers are performed by the bank so that is called as agency function agency functions are those which are performed by the bank for their customer acting for them as their agent so in simple terms when i want to pay the money for a particular person so what i'll do i will give the instruction to the bank means i will issue the check okay i will pay that amount in the form of check behalf of me my bank is crediting money in that customer's account or paying the money whatever written in the check to that to that customer to that person so in that case bank will act as a agent between me and my client between me and one more my customer so agency functions are the banking services for which the customers are charged when bank is giving this service it is not free of cost bank is going to charge certain commission for this certain fees for this these functions are provided the banks and a opportunity to know their customer okay financial positions more interactively that eventually leads to correct evaluation for their credit worthiness means through this function here banker can connect with his customer okay and he can analyze his financial positions so here we will find n number of agency functions are performed by the banks okay let us discuss one by one so here first we will see the list out first we will list out different type of agency functions first agency function is payments and collection of check bills promissory notes second one is purchase and sales of securities execution of standing instructions fund transfer acting as a trustee executor and attorney these are the agency functions when bank is performing these functions bank is acting as a agent 
behalf of his customer, behalf of his client. So let us analyze in detail about one by one. So let us see first function of agency function of the bank is payment and collection of check, bills and promissory. Here, when I'll purchase something, I have to make a payment for that. Okay. When I wanted to pay something, okay, I have to pay my electricity bill. I have to pay certain grocery bill, newspaper bill. So in that case, I can instruct the bank. Okay. I can instruct the bank or I can make the payment through the check. During that, I'm instructing the bank to pay the money to that particular person behalf of me. So these functions are performed by the bank on the behalf of their customer. The banker is banker is a responsible to his customer to make the payment under the obligation to make the payment of check to the right person in accordance with the instructions of the drawer of the check. When I want to pay any bill, I will give the check. So I am a drawer of the check. Okay, in that check, I will write the specific amount and that particular person name or particular organization name. I have to pay money for that organization, for that person. In that case, I will give the, I will draw the check. So, that is my instruction to the banker. If I had drawn the check, that amount is paid to the, paid for that particular person. So, in such cases, bank will follow the instructions and okay, credit the money in that person's account, behalf of me. Okay. So same way, bill, promissory notes on behalf of the customer is an indispensable service rendered by the modern banks to his customer. So even certain time we can draw the DD, which is known as demand draft. Okay. Here again, behalf of the customer, they are paying that certain money. They are collecting the money from the public. Not only here, bank will do the payments, even bank will collect the payment behalf of the correct customer. So only here they have uh, to that payment and collection of check. Even behalf of me, they will collect the certain certain money okay, which is paid by my client. So bank pays their customer okay, like not only this check, even insurance, rent and installment of loan, okay, repayment of repayment of loan etc these all type of payments are done by the bank behalf of their customer okay. from their account on their order they will deduct and it is credited in that person's account but bank is not doing these functions free of cost bank charge some commissions for such services bank collects the interest on the investments, dividends, rents and other receipts on behalf of their customers. Okay, not only do the payments, even bank collects the deposits on okay, behalf of their customers. Bank collects the rent on behalf of their customers. So such type of agency functions are performed by the bank. Here, between the two parties, bank will act as an agent. Bank is facilitating by doing this function to their customers. But it is not free of cost, it is charged by the customer. Okay. So this is known as payment and collection of check, bills and promissory note. Now next let us see one more type of secondary function which is come under the agency function performed by the bank that is purchase and sales of security. 
in a modern days banks are not only working as a commercial banks they are working as a investment banks also banks are facilitating for the investment okay so banks are not limited with the commercial banking functions they are participating in the investment banking by facilitating their customers in the share markets means here purchase and sales of securities are done by the banker on behalf of their customer in the picture you can see here we will find in the between bank and beside this we will find here will find the here will find the corporate means company and these are the investors okay these are the investors who want to invest in the corporates so what they will do they will take the money they will take the money from the investors banks will collect the money from the investors and behalf of their customer they will purchase the shares and securities from the corporates to purchase and sell the securities shares stocks banks are facilitating to their customers so nowadays we are finding because of digitalization these functions are performed through the dmat account banks will ask the customers to open up dmat account okay to deal with the purchase and sales of securities bank sells and purchase the shares debentures and other government and non government securities on the demand of their customer so when they are doing this they are working as a representative of a customer for purchasing or redeeming the securities in the stock exchange so in the picture we can find how the okay, banks here they are collecting the funds from the investors and purchasing the shares and securities okay even here they will sell behalf of the customer that shares and securities so this is about one more function related to agency function of second agency functions of bank now let us see the next here execution of standing instructions here bank will give certain instructions to the uh, bank means banks will give the certain instructions from the customers okay standing instructions are also called as banker's order okay means here account holder gives the instruction to their bank to make a regular or periodic payment on a specific amount to the payee's account suppose here we will take the example i have to pay every month okay my lic premium so i will give in a written instruction okay to my bank such and such amount on such and such date should be credited every month in the each month of the day okay here you can find the application form which is given for the standing instruction here customers has to give the standing instruction that fixed payment has to be done in the day particular day okay in the particular month every month okay it should be credited in that particular phase account so accordingly bank will credit in the phase account and debit from my account so uh, here we can give a number of examples like if i paid the rent every month i have to pay the rent on the particular date once i'll give the standing instru instructions then automatically bank is going to deduct money from my account and it will credit it to the pays account okay. even mortgage of credit cards bills okay credit card bills also is paid by the bank behalf of their customer electricity bills for this we have to give a written instruction okay so when we are giving the instructions accordingly we have to follow the rules and regulations of the bank means we have to maintain okay balance in our account if we won't maintain the balance in our, in our account but we have given a instructions in that case bank won't follow 
these instructions bank may refuse to make the payment if account holder doesn't maintain enough money in his account so standing instructions are given by the customers okay, to the banker so bank has to follow according to that instruction okay here bank is facilitating to the customer okay one of the sample here we can see in our slide okay this is a sbi bank's sample here they have given the information okay what is what is the meaning of standing instructions when we can give the standing interest instructions okay what rules regulations are there regarding that we can find out in the sbi website okay through that we can give the instructions to the bank and accordingly we can follow the rules and regulation here and here bank will perform behalf of the customer these functions okay so bank will act as a agent between the two parties here and follow the standing instruction and send it up the money and credit into the pays account so this is about the standing instructions which is one of the important function of commercial bank secondary function of commercial bank where bank act as a agent between the two customers now let us see next function that is fund transfer okay as here the word only says fund transfer mean transferring the fund from one person to another person's account or from one place to another place from one bank to another bank okay that is known as fund transfer okay when we are transferring our money from one bank to other bank or from one place to other place in that in that in that case bank is helping to the customer as a agent this can be done through the help of check draft means demand draft okay even by the electronic fund transfers okay rtgs neft imps upi these are the electronic fund transfers through that bank is transferring money from one account to another account from one person to another person account from one place to another person play here you can see the picture how bank will do this one okay here sender will visit to the bank okay and he will fulfill the requirements here we can find sender bank and receiver bank so two banks are acting as a agent for to the for their customers here sender want to send means he want to transfer the money to this to his beneficiary account so what he will do sender will go to the bank he will fill the neft form rtgs form whatever the rules okay that is goes to the pooling center pooling center okay will transfer to clearing center clearing center will receive the message okay to the receiving bank will give the message to the receiving bank and receiving bank will credit that money in the beneficiary account so in this way they will do this transfer of fund function okay so we have to fill certain forms neft forms in that we have to uh, mention the beneficiary account number beneficiary beneficiary name beneficiary bank account bank address okay these all things we have to do for the neft rtgs and imps but in a modern days because of improvement because of development in the technology okay only with the unified personal identity number without the without the bank account of the beneficiary name of the beneficiary only with the help of unified unified personal okay identity number we can easily transfer the money from one uh, from our account to the beneficiary account okay nowadays it become more easy because of mobile banking internet banking we can easily transfer money okay but when we are doing this these two banks are connected okay, between the two parties they are acting as a agent receiving sender bank as well as receiving bank are working as a agent behalf of our behalf of the customers okay 
so this is about the fund transfer function this is one of the important agency function which is facilitating the customers to settle their transaction easily to make a payment easily to credit the money in his beneficiary account easily and quickly so this is about the fund transfer now let us see the next here apart from this bank will act as a trustee executor and attorney bank see that the interest of their client are properly protected okay here bank is working for the purpose of their customers okay uh protection here as a trustee what is the meaning of trustee let us understand first a person may desire that after his death a part or whole of his property be held in the trust for the benefit of various beneficiary named in the will okay this is a case in such case what we can find is he may create a trust under his will and directing to a certain person to held the property to such persons after a specified time when banker takes the liability to the administrate of this type of property he will called as trustee okay here banker is appointed as a trustee because banker is okay, taking the liability to a administrate of this type of property okay that is known as trust here in the will it is written that okay so particular person has to be a trustee so bank will act as a trustee okay behalf of his customer he is going to deal with the okay he is going to protect the will which is directed by the certain person not only this even bank will act as a executor also what is executor first understand what is executor a person may make a will expressing his intention regarding the disposable of his death he a uh, will has to be in writing signed by the person making the will which is called as trusted and attested by two witnesses okay a will become effective only after the approved by the court as a private and private copy of the will is duly certified under the seal of the court together with the grant administrator okay in that case this administrator is called as executor okay and that rights will be with the banker bank will act as a okay, executor so per, the person appointed as an administrator of the deceased is known as executor so here bank may appoint as a executor for such services so bank is acting as a executor okay here bank is okay taking care of the will and performing according to the will okay act as a attorney attorney here power of attorney may be given by the customer to the banker okay. by granting a power of autonomy the customer authorizes the banker to receive the dividends interest on securities belong to him and give a valid discharge so here customer authorize the banker to receive the dividend interest securities belong to him behalf of his customer a bank will be having the attorney right to collect these dividends if he is holding a share in a particular company and is going to get the dividend for that share so here bank will having a authority so these are the certain agency functions are performed by the commercial banks okay here bank is facilitating to the customer okay bank will act as a agent behalf of his customer for doing all such type of functions apart from this agency function okay, some of the utility functions also performed by the banks those are come under secondary functions itself so let us see 
which are those utility functions before that we will understand what is utility as we all know in economics utility means satisfaction satisfaction means here when we are related with this one with the banks banks are having us banks are satisfying their customers by providing different type of services so those are known as utility services utility services are not confined to only its customers but are also provided to the general public even utility services are given to the general public it is not require that okay, we should hold a account in the bank itself okay without holding the bank account also we will get some kind of utility services which are provided by the bank so let us see which are those utility functions here we will uh, point out which are the utility functions safe custody and safe deposit wallets letter of credit underwriting of shares dealer in foreign exchange market and other functions so let us analyze one by one in detail so as we all are aware about locker facility okay locker facility which is known as safe custody and safe deposit wallets okay here banks are well equipped with the safe and strong rooms with the excellent security arrangements okay and this services are provided to their customers to safely keep their valuables here valuables means okay gold diamond some property papers okay or some shares papers these are the valuable things which we can okay keep safely okay, in the bank okay bank will provide bank is providing for us this service okay through the lock lock locker facility and as you all know these services are not provided free of cost okay here certain commissions certain fees are charged for these type of services so here safe deposit wallet is available to the customers under certain rules and regulations okay in that anyone can get that locker facility okay in that legally here they have to do the agreement and accordingly that they will get this locker facility in this locker facility okay we will be having a security for our safe our valuables so this is about one of the uh, one of the okay uh, utility service which is provided by the bank so we can keep our valuables safely in the bank okay if you will keep it in our house if anybody can rob so to avoid that okay we can keep it our valuables in the locker facility okay safe so this is safe custody and safe deposit not only your okay individuals will use this facility even some of the time organization also use will this facilities like university exams during that the upcoming exam question papers also kept in the locker safe custodies so bank will take the custody means bank will provide this facility to the organization to the institution so they will keep it in the strong room in the safe locker facility okay. so such type of facilities are provided by the bank next one is letter of credit okay what is this letter of credit this is also one of the utility service which is provided by provided by the commercial banks to their customers so letter of credit is a writing undertaking given by the bank to the seller of the goods to the request of the importer of the goods to meet the bills of exchange drawn by the seller in accordance with the terms of the undertaking provided the document of title of goods prescribed by the buyer are are tendered on the presentment of the bills of exchange for a payment in simple terms it will say it is a payment mechanism 
used in the international trade to provide an economic guarantee from the credit worthy bank to an exporter of goods let us understand with the help of example here indian customer want to import the goods from america okay, here indian customer wanted to import the goods from america here indian is a importer and american customer is a exporter so when he is importing he has to pay money for that importing goods so what he will do okay he will draw the letter of credit from the bank indian customer will draw the letter of credit from the bank means he will get the letter in that bank will take the guarantee behalf of his customer that money is going to paid to the usa customer in his bank so there is a connection between indian bank and usa bank here both are connecting both are helping to their customer to settle their transactions okay through this instrument through this letter of credit here bank is taking the promise to pay okay promise to pay usually made by the overseas buyer to substitute by the promise to pay by the banker here indian customer is promising to pay to the usa customer but here guarantee is taken by the indian bank okay so by giving the letter of credit so this is helpful for the foreign trade so this is about the letter of credit okay this service is provided by the banks to their customer who are dealing with the dealing in the foreign trade okay. now let us see the next one underwriting of shares here bank is helping to their customer okay for underwriting the shares banks are helping to the okay capital market here in order to promote the capital market and to encourage the issue of shares okay in the primary market as well as secondary market bank will act as a underwriter for the certain companies means company if company want to issue the shares to the public so in that case companies can take the help of bank means bank is helping the companies to issue the shares to the public this will enable the bank this will enable the companies to sell their shares bank underwrite the underwrite the issue of shares and debentures of a joint stock companies for this service bank is going to get certain commission from the company and this enables companies to get adequate capital for their business okay in such way bank is connecting the corporate and investors okay here bank is issuing the shares to the public behalf of their corporate behalf of the joint stock company in this way bank is helping to their customer means to the companies to raising the funds from the public so this is about the underwriting of shares now let us see the next one dealer in foreign exchange market banks commercial banks are the authorized dealer in foreign exchange market okay what is foreign exchange market okay here foreign exchange means exchange of currencies one country's currency is exchanged with the another country's currency when we are traveling when we are okay, going for the abroad for the study when we are participating in the foreign trade okay we are in need of foreign currency in that case okay we will approach to the commercial bank because commercial banks are the authorized dealer in foreign exchange market means rbi has given the authorized authorization to deal with the foreign currency for the commercial banks this function is actually performed for the purpose of promoting international trade businesses of exchange of currency is also done is also done by the commercial banks here banks are going to charge certain commission for this okay when we are in need of foreign currency 
when i want to study for abroad i need a loan and that loan should be in foreign currency so i can approach to the commercial bank so commercial bank will help us to okay provide that loan in foreign currency okay so foreign exchange market commercial banks are participating and helping their customers to exchange their currency okay this is about one more function related to banks under utility services apart from this some other type of functions also provided by the banks those also come under utility functions like bank insurance bank insurance means here these are performing the third party functions okay, they are giving the they are selling the third party products third party product means here selling the product of the companies like insurance companies mutual funds government bonds okay gold coins collection of taxes and utility bills merchant banking services are performed by the commercial banks here bank insurance means behalf of insurance company here banks are selling the insurance policies different type of insurance policies to their customers means they are doing the okay, advertisement here it is understood that the par partnership is beneficial and profitable for both the parties even bank will be under profit and insurance company will also be under profit so they are providing this facility to their customer and here they are selling the third party product means insurance company product to their customer even in the mutual funds okay here banks will provide the mutual fund facilities means they are finance these banks are intermediaries and presents the felt of offering expert services to creating the balanced portfolio here portfolio management okay you might have heard about sip systematic investment planning okay which will related to mutual fund here they are providing services to their customer so customers can invest in the mutual fund through this okay, sip here customers are getting the benefit of investment okay, this type of service is also provided by the banks issue of credit cards and debit cards okay, nowadays many of the payments are done to the debit cards and credit cards because of existence of plastic money plastic money is helping to the customers and this this is known as credit cards and debit cards so these are also issued by the banks banks are issuing these type of okay, cards for the settlement of payments so to face the payment mechanism has changed okay with the advantage in the technology so debit cards and credit cards are the vital components of this so there is a functional uh, there is a functional difference between the two is okay as we all know debit card is pay okay immediately credit card is pay later so on behalf of customer once bills is received here banks will pay, pay bank will do the payment with the credit cards so these cards are issued by the banks even bank will perform some of the government functions also here behalf of government bank is collecting the taxes okay collecting taxes here government businesses the collection of tax collection of stamp duties are performed by the commercial banks okay bank are providing the services to the government behalf of government bank is collecting the taxes from the customers so even stamp duties stamp duty is a type of tax paid to the sales or purchase of property or business agreement or power of autonomy and various deeds okay in these type of deeds bank will act as a legal proof of such transactions 
it can be paid both on offline and online okay so although most of the states have adopted e stamp papers and hence payment are made online in that case bank will facilitate to do this type of functions so this is about the utility functions of bank which are providing additional services to the customers and facilitating to do their work easily to settle their transaction easily so here we can see some of the pictures uh, through online website which i have taken which type of services utility services are provided by the bank here we can see okay here here bank will collect the tax as i told gst tax solutions so online payments which we can make online tax payments so here i have taken the okay uh, screenshot of icic bank which provide the services which can be done through online so online tax payment gst and tax solutions even we can find some of the electric electricity bills we can pay through okay online with the help of bank water bill okay here lpg cylinder bills landline telephone bills broadband connection bills so these all type of services will come under utility services even here we can okay make the payment for the dtch recharge mobile recharge these all are the utility services which are provided by the banks to their customers and they made the work easier to their customers they are reduce the time uh time consumption to do these all activities for their customers so those so this is about this is all about the utility and agency functions of commercial banks so as we all know commercial banks uh, play very important role in the growth and development of the country because organizations and functioning of these banks and huge fund and wide network all over the country okay here the main functions of the commercial banks is a primary function which is a mandatory for the banks but nowadays in the modern days we are finding even though secondary functions are not mandatory but these are helping more to their customers and they are facilitating to their customers to do their work easily and quickly so this is all about private secondary functions of commercial banks so this is about the secondary function which in that which we have discussed about agency and utility functions okay thank you this is from my side today we have discussed about in detail regarding the secondary functions okay thank you